Once more on the half wall, now for Dubois. Once more for Marino again. Marino, far side, moves in, right circle, shoots, scores! Back on Shaw TV in the intermission with Warriors captain Jared Marino. And Jared, coming to this season as the captain, I want to go back to last summer when you got told by head coach Ryland Furster that you would be the captain of this team. What were your feelings behind that? Yeah, I mean, it was a huge honor. Um, you know, me and Ryland had a meeting at the end of um, last season, and he kind of told me that, you know, he wanted me to be in the, the leadership role for this team, and I was very excited for that, and that, that was something I felt I was ready for. So when I got that call, you know, it was a huge honor. And, uh, you know, I was very proud of myself, and, you know, just, just having my brother as captain and then, you know, to have me as captain, it, it was something special. And, you know, I know my, my parents were very proud of me at that time. Talk about your brother being captain here. He was the captain in that 2016 RBC Cup championship year. You've still got one player left over from that year too. Jake Harrison here with the team this year. How special was that team from two years ago that it seems like really whoever I talk to, whether it be alumni or players that are presently here, that it just seems like that team was so close and unified. Yeah, I mean, it definitely helped that, you know, we spent so much time together and, you know, we went on that long road trip together and. We, we, we became family. I mean, we did everything together, and uh, it just made everything more special when we won. Of course, uh, the teddy bear toss against Penticton, that happened that year as well. I want to go back to that game for you because teddy bear tosses are exciting no matter what team they're against. But two years ago against Penticton, Jonathan Davian scored the goal late that got the Warriors a 2 to nothing win with an empty netter in there as well. How special are teddy bear toss games to you, especially when they come against Penticton? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, Penticton's a great rivalry for us, and uh, the teddy bear toss games are huge. You know, everyone everyone jokes about it before the game, about trying to score the goal, the big goal. So, um, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm excited for it, and, you know, especially against uh, Penticton, it's going to be a good one. What's the rivalry like? If you could take us through the dressing room when it comes to playing the V's. Obviously, it's been one that's been spirited. It's a rivalry that's close geographically, only 45 minutes of difference between the two cities. And it seems like every time these two teams play each other, it just seems like it's up and down the ice. There's tempo, there's pace, and it's two skilled teams. Yeah, I mean, uh, personally, I think it just goes a lot a lot um, longer than than I've been here like you know the, the, the rivalry has been going on for a long time and you know I kind of just jumped into it in, in my first year and obviously we ended up beating them in playoffs but I mean they're they're a great team every year and and I think you just come to this league and as soon as you you step on the ice against them you know that you know you're in, you're going to be in for a good one regardless of what the score is you know both teams are going to try try their best because you know you don't want to lose to each other. Coming into this year, obviously the captain of the team, but you lead the team in scoring this year as well. It's gone on in your uh, game so far that's helped you out offensively because it's something that I don't think we've seen before numbers-wise uh, from the score, from the stat sheet from you before, but something that obviously uh, you've been accustomed to throughout your career through midget and such with uh, scoring big numbers. Yeah, I mean, you know, growing up, I've always been relied on as someone who has to, you know, provide offensively and. You know, when I got my when I got here my first year, my role wasn't that, and you know I accepted it and played my role. And you know, last year I came back and it still wasn't you know as offensive as I would have liked it. But you know, I just put in my time and you know worked with the coaches and you know tried to do my best. And this year I came back and I just told myself that you know I'm I am the captain of this team, but I am going to provide for my team and you know help them try and win every single night. Obviously, as mentioned, you're the leading scorer of this team, but this team seems so tight-knit. It seems like everybody's so close with each other, and it seems like there's just camaraderie throughout the dressing room. What's it been like this year in that dressing room that it just seems like the Warriors are one of the tightest teams I've seen in my time over the last few years? Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I, I think our team just, you know, bonded well right from the start. Um, you know, uh, credit to the coaching staff, you know, for, you know, making everyone feel welcome. We had a lot of new guys coming in and, you know, I made the made sure the leadership group this year really focused on, you know, bringing everyone in together and making sure everyone felt at home. And I, I think that's a reason why you've seen, you know, a, a good start from us so far. You mentioned the leadership group, three other guys with you that are wearing the A's this year, Kevin Tilsley, Jake Harrison, and also Stephen Clayson. What do those three guys bring to the table leadership-wise to help you out there as well? It seems like those are three veteran guys who have been in the league for a while and really know the game well. Yeah, absolutely. Jake has been there for you know as long as me, even longer than me. And um, 
it, there was no, no, no one more deserving than, you know, a part in our leadership role this, this year than Jake. Um, you know, you look at Kevin, he's been in, in the league for a while now and he's seen, he's seen a lot too. So I think he was, uh, uh, he's been very strong for us and we, we knew he was going to be very strong for us. And you talk about Clayson, just the guy, the guy's an absolute horse back there, like just eats minutes and, and he's been huge for us on the back end. This team's 11 and four here on home ice this year. What's it been about Royal LePage Place that's made this team so difficult to play against? It seems like every visiting team that comes into this rink has such a tough time playing against the Warriors. You jump back to a couple weeks ago, uh, Saturday night against Wenatchee, a big win there in overtime with a depleted forward core as well. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I just I just challenged the guys at the start of the year just to have the best home record. And, you know, I knew we were going to be a good team and I knew it was an achievable goal. And, you know, what what what's better than, you know, winning on home ice in front of your fans? So. Yeah, I challenge the guys to just have the best home record and, you know, we're, we've been off to a pretty good start at home and, you know, we just like to keep that going. Lastly now, I want to ask you, who gets the teddy bear toss goal on Friday night? Uh, well, I think this is biased, but, you know, I'm hoping it's me, but uh, regardless of that, I, as long as we get one, it, it'll, be, I'll, it'll all be good. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Jared. Thank you.